Welcome back to Ox Tools, I'm Tom. So we got a weeknight short here. We're going to make a, um, a backing plate for my uh, four jaw chuck. Um, I have one for the six jaw, and you guys have seen that in other videos, and I'll show it again here too. Um, but um, I could have used one the other day. Uh, I just hadn't made one for the four jaw, but I could have used it the other day um, when I was positioning the eccentric. Um, some people ask why I didn't use parallels. Um, I really dislike using parallels in a, on a lathe chuck, mainly because you have two separate parallels and you're trying to hold them and fart around with the piece, and it's just kind of a hassle. So I got into using the uh, the backing plates, and uh, and they're just superior anyway, and because uh, they take a thrust load, uh, you know, towards the chuck without uh, uh, moving around on you. Anyway, so we're going to make one. Um, a quick one for the uh, the four jaw chuck, and you guys will get to see that. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you know, anybody can make one of these. There's no no magic to it uh, in particular, but uh, it's a really useful thing. So uh, let's suit up and uh, let's go uh, make us a backing plate. Okay, so here's the here's what it's going to look like, and then I just. I just drew these on the computer real quick uh, in AutoCAD and then printed them out one to one. Uh, so these are the cutouts for the jaws here. And um, so I printed two of them. And then here's our blank, which is a, uh, just a circle of aluminum here. And um, so what we're going to use, we're just going to bandsaw this out, okay? Those don't need to be, none of those contours need to be uh, machined profiles. We might turn the OD just for fun, just so that it doesn't run out. Um, but all this business in here can be uh, can be bandsawed. So we're going to use this uh, three amp spray mount, and uh, this is pretty good because um, it peels off fairly easily and doesn't leave a lot of uh, residue. You don't have to do any scraping to uh, to get back there. So uh, I'm just going to give this a little dose here, and uh, you know I'm just covering up the. Uh, the welding cable so I don't get the uh, the fuzzies going, you know. Alright, so I'm just going to dampen that and then turn this upside down to clear it. And I'm going to get a quick wipe on eh, Actually, you know what? I'm not going to get a quick wipe on that. So let's uh, hopefully... Can you see all that? No. Yeah, okay. Let's over a little bit here. I kind of drifted out of the... Uh, Shift it out of the frame there a little bit. Okay. Now I just I I had a circle laying around, and um, you know normally you'd you'd cut this out of a square or something like that. So you just plop this down and then cut that the whole profile all at once. But I happen to have a a disc. Uh, laying around that we're going to use. So let that sit for a minute and then we'll go over to the bandsaw.
Okay, so you got to see some uh, bandsaw milling there. Anyway, this is kind of a check fit. Okay, we don't want it super tight, um, but that's the idea. Okay, so we'll go drill and tap some holes. I'll probably clip these little corners here a little bit too, so. All right, so let's, we're just gonna center punch, we're just gonna center punch these, these uh, tapped holes here. And when I draw them on the computer, I just put a tiny little circle at the center um, just to uh, give me a little target um, to line up on when I, if I'm going to center punch with them. Okay, now let's go over to the mill and we'll uh, drill and tap those. Alright, so over here in the mill and now i got to figure out how to hold this thing. So I think we're going to go Simple Simon here. It's usually the best. This is where uh, your can't twist clamps will come in handy. Oop. Open this up. Like so, and this is just uh, one of my uh, um, odd pallets for the uh, um, the mini pallet. Okay. That's that new uh, Lixie hammer. I'm starting to take a liking to that. I'm going to grab a couple of these, and then all we're going to do is just hang that over the edge like so. Let's see if that makes sense here. So I'll grab it there. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to grab it like that maybe, huh? that big enough? Yep, just barely. Let's make it simple, right? Like so. Crank that one down, and then maybe... I don't know, come over here. Now, what? A, uh, let me get a couple of tools and then we'll get lined up on that. All right, so we're just gonna use a little, a little, a pointer to line up on here. And you see I'm not lined up right now, um, but what I'll do is I'll just slacken the clamps. Oop, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the T-handle ones here. So I'll just drop that into the, the center punch mark just lightly. And then, uh, you know, I'm gonna switch And we we'll have the little T handle here. Get a little more, a little more purchase on them. All right, so I'm pinch that down. Okay, pinch that down like so, and that's just as secure as it needs to be. Take that out. Now this is one situation where what we'll be doing here is uh, swapping the tool because we're lined up on the uh, we're lined up on things here. Okay. Three more to go. Okay, done.